welcome! The following training will show you how to customize your 2GIG GC3 panel screensaver with your own photos. GC3 panels with firmware versions 3.2.1 and higher give you the option to use a screensaver if desired. By default, the Photo Screensaver option consists of a series of standard stock photos. You have the option to replace the default stock photos with your own personal photos if desired. To replace the default photos with your own personal photos, complete the following steps. On a computer, first create a new folder with the title Slideshow. Note, you must name the folder Slideshow as one word for your GC3 panel to find and successfully upload your photos. Next, locate the photos you'd like to appear on your panel's screensaver, select and copy up to 50 photos, and paste them into the folder named Slideshow. If you've not done so already, plug your USB drive into the computer at this time. Add your entire Slideshow folder to the USB drive. Once the Slideshow folder copies onto the USB drive, eject and remove the USB from your computer. On the GC3 panel home screen, press the System Settings button. Then enter your user code. Note, the default customer code is 1111. Then press the screen tile. Locate the Screensaver section and select My Photos from the drop down menu. You'll then see a pencil icon appear to the right of the Screensaver drop down icon. Press the pencil icon and then press the Replace Photos button. Once prompted, insert the USB drive into the USB port on top of your GC3 security panel. Press Replace to confirm that you want to replace the default photos with your own custom photos. Then press OK. Once you've pressed OK, you can remove the USB drive from your GC3 panel. Your GC3 panel's screensaver will now cycle through your custom photos instead of the default photos. Note, if you'd like to go back and change any of your photos or add new custom photos to your screensaver, first modify your slideshow folder and then repeat the steps just discussed. If you'd like to delete your custom photos from your screensaver and revert back to the default stock photos, press System Settings. Enter your code. Press the screen tile. Then press the pencil icon to the right of the screensaver drop down icon. Press the Delete Photos button. Then confirm you'd like to delete your custom photos by pressing the Delete button. Then press OK. Your custom photos will be removed from the screensaver, and the screensaver will now revert back to the slideshow of default stock photos. Welcome! The following training will show you how to adjust your 2GIG GC3 panel screensaver settings. GC3 panels with firmware versions 3.2.1 and higher give you the option to use a screensaver if desired. Once the screensaver option is enabled, you have the ability to adjust a variety of preferences so the screensaver is to your liking. Note, see video part 1 for instructions on how to upload your own photos to your GC3 panel screensaver. You have the option to further customize your screensaver by adjusting any of the following screensaver settings. Use the photo duration setting to choose how long you'd like each photo to display on your panel. Press the drop down icon and select the desired option from the drop down menu. Next, select which transition effect you'd like to use between each of your screensaver photos. Press the drop down icon. Your options include appear, fade, push, or wipe. The transition duration setting determines how long the transition effects between photos will take. Press the drop down icon. Choose between 2 seconds, 3 seconds, or 5 seconds. Scroll down the screen for more options. Use the Display Sequence setting to choose the order in which you'd like your photos to appear on the screensaver. Press the drop-down icon. You can select the option to have your photos appear in order alphabetically by photo name or as a random shuffle with no set order. Select whether you'd like the full landscape mode setting turned on or off. If you select the On option, the photos will cover the entire screen from left to right 
However, some photos may be cropped out along the top and bottom. If you select off, the photos will be shown in their entirety. However, if the aspect ratio of a photo does not match the panel, black bars will appear on the sides of the photos. If your photos have a portrait orientation, a black space on each side of the photo will appear. Press the Preview button if you'd like to check your new custom screensaver settings. To exit Preview mode, simply press anywhere on your panel. Press the back arrow to return to the Screen Programming menu for additional settings. Adjust the Screen Brightness slider to your preference. The Screen Timeout portion allows you to determine the length of time that the panel is inactive before it activates the screensaver. Choose from 30 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes. Scroll down for more options. Locate the Screensaver Active setting and choose the time frame you'd like the screensaver feature to be active. Press the default time selection to begin adjusting this setting. Scroll to select the desired starting and ending times. Then press the green check mark once you're done selecting the time frame you'd like the screensaver feature to be active. Once you're done adjusting all the desired screen settings, press the back arrow. Then press the back arrow again. Any changes you made to the screensaver settings will now be active. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.